Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back or to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be all about my spring 2022 wardrobe staples. I did this video last year, but honestly, I watched it back and it was kind of cringy. And my style and wardrobe has changed so much since that video. So I thought I should do an updated one for you guys. I tried to keep this as minimal as possible, but I also wanted to make it pretty informative so i didn't think i had a lot of pieces to share with you guys until i laid everything out on my floor i will say i didn't include any like dresses skirts or shorts in this just because to me that is more seasonally appropriate for the summer since i am based in canada and i wanted to keep this relevant to where i live but yeah everything will be linked down below if i can find it and let's get into the video let's start off with basic tops this is honestly my personal favorite category that people always go over in their wardrobe staples because i'm such a sucker for a good basic and i'm always on the hunt to add more because to me you can never have too many you can style them so many different ways and you can really find unique pieces everywhere that you can incorporate into your wardrobe so I do have the most of this category, but that being said, I only have four. So I feel like it's not too overwhelming. Firstly is a good bodysuit. I just have this one from Skims that I got a few weeks ago. It's the cotton jersey t-shirt bodysuit. Honestly, obsessed with it. Skims is so worth it to me. This is my first time at trying out skims and i would highly recommend the t-shirt bodysuit just really helps you get that minimal tucked in look that you honestly can't get with a t-shirt because it's constantly popping out of your pants and you have to keep tucking them in i just honestly think that if you're going for that look just get a bodysuit and it just changes the game along with the bodysuit i feel like a t-shirt version is really good to have i just have this ribbed one from tna haven't worn her yet recently got her but super excited to wear it gray is honestly probably my favorite basic color next i have a few tank tops i couldn't pick which one i wanted to include so i chose both so i have this sunday best white tank top i really like this one because it the neckline scoops down honestly one of my most worn tank tops it looks good with everything and then lastly i have this skims mock neck long line tank top in this amazing bone color along with all of these basic pieces you can wear them under anything pair them with any pant and they're going to look good every single time my next closet staple for spring are button-ups i got really into them last year and i have lots of options in my wardrobe but i think my most worn is this white oversized button-up from garage and this blue pinstripe one from jerf avenue honestly you can find this color in print on pretty much every website but these are just the specific brands that i have the thing i like about both of these is they're different this one is very oversized and long where my jerf avenue one is more fitted it has a slit in the back and it's kind of cropped a bit so they do have their differences and give different looks depending on what you're going for i tend to wear this one kind of done up like this tucked into jeans whereas this one is more of a layering piece that i would pair over any of those basics i just shared with you guys thinking back to last year my button-ups were probably one of my most worn clothing pieces of the year i'm pretty sure i included this white button up in my most warm clothing of 2021 video the next category that i have written down is knit but obviously more spring appropriate so for me that means a sweater vest i personally tend to reach for the more fitted sweater vest opposed to the super boyish and oversized one I do have a few of those in my collection, but I just find I always wear these more. They're more flattering on my body type just because I am very short. So this one is from Garage. I have this in a few different styles. She's so good. And like I said, I love a neutral gray color. I personally think it goes really nice for the spring and summer opposed to black. Probably like white and gray are my favorites. And then just a basic light colored 
cardigan. I have this one from Brandy Melville. I really like this because it's an off-white color, so you can wear it as is, or you can undo it and wear a white tank top underneath, and the two colors look really nice together. What I really like about these is you can have it done up in the morning when it's a little bit more chilly, and then throughout the day, as it heats up, you can undo it to get more airflow. That's pretty much it for tops. I have a few jackets, but I'll touch on those at the end of the video. Firstly, for bottoms, I have basic versatile denim. I could not pick one pair, so I have two different styles to share with you guys. Firstly being a vintage relaxed pair of denim. If you guys watch my spring 2022 fashion trends video i touched on how i picked up a pair of thrifted men's denim and i got them altered a little bit to fit me perfectly i'm so excited to wear them this year they are levi 501s you can honestly find these at any thrift store there were so many options in the men's section since a lot of the tops that i'm reaching for this season are longer line i've been loving just a more mid to low rise pair of jeans. I honestly think these are going to be my most worn pair of denim this season. And then opposite to that, I have a more fitted high-waisted option that I will probably be wearing second to the previous pair. So these are my Princess Polly Holly asymmetric crisscross jeans. You guys will see in the try on, they are two completely different styles and that's why i wanted to give you guys a few different options to get a better idea of what i will be wearing so i'll be wearing these with longer tops and then if i'm wearing crop tops or want to show more skin i will be reaching for these i love the asymmetric button detail i've been wearing them for a few years now and i don't care if they're not trendy anymore I will still still be wearing them because I think they are so flattering. Next for pants, I have trousers. You guys definitely aren't surprised by this. I've been wearing these for about a year now and I feature them in pretty much every wardrobe staples video that I do, but I can't help it. I wear them honestly more than denim. They are so comfortable. You feel like you're wearing sweatpants, but they're just a lot more chic and fashionable sometimes than denim. I couldn't narrow it down to just one. So I have my two favorites. Firstly being, say it with me, the Princess Polly Archer Pant. You guys know this. I have these in the slight gray color and then also the black color. These have been my favorite for a while, but I do want to share with you guys another pair from Garage. These are the Porter Pleated Straight Leg Pants. These ones are a lot more baggier all throughout the legs and are a different material these ones are more almost satiny whereas these are cotton based i believe cottony linen-y honestly i have like eight other pairs of trousers that i will be wearing on rotation but specifically right now i'm really in to the gray and this cream beige color lastly for pants i have work pants Slash cargo pants. I only have my Dickies to share with you guys because I'm still on the hunt for the perfect pair of cargo pants for spring. I really want a like relaxed army green or beige color. Yeah, I've been putting off filming this video because I don't have a pair yet, but I just wanted to get it out and you guys will see in the future what I end up finding. I still wanted to include cargo pants in this. The other pair of pants that I'll be wearing are my Dickies 874 work pants. I have mine in a size 32 by 30. These are men's. As you guys can tell, I'm a huge fan of having basic pants in your collection other than denim. So for example, trousers, work pants, cargo pants. I just find I can get sick of denim really easily because even though you have different washes and styles, if you're wearing denim every single day, it feels like you're wearing the same thing. So that's why I love just having other basic pants that you can switch out with any of the tops. Okay. <laughs> My mom just texted me and sent me a photo of me crying as a baby. You're welcome. <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> anyway, moving on, I have a jumpsuit written down. I actually have two different styles of this Wilfred jumpsuit. I have the black divinity, which is a tight fit all the way down, but I recently picked up the Clio jumpsuit by Wilfred in the color taupe and hands down, 
takes a favorite over the divinity jumpsuit it's just so much more flattering i don't know what it is about the flare but you guys will see when i try it on but yeah it's basically a taupe colored tank top flared jumpsuit it's amazing i'm obsessed with it i cannot wait to wear it i need to get it hemmed a little bit because i am on the shorter side this is the perfect piece to throw on in the spring when you want to be really comfortable and want to look put together but also don't want to put a lot of effort into your outfit on those days what i'll be wearing is this jumpsuit with a white button up over it and some sneakers and you're good to go i'm just such a sucker for a pre-made outfit so that's why i love a good jumpsuit and can we talk about this color i'm obsessed lastly before we move in to jackets i have overalls written down so these are actually the only pair of overalls that i have they are the sunday best overheard overalls i got them in the fall last year so i'm not sure if this exact color is still online but i will try to find something similar i have mine in a size small to get an oversized fit i found my true size which is an extra small it was a little bit tight in my legs and butt which i wasn't really looking for so that's why i sized up to a small and i'm obsessed with the fit of them i really want to pick up a cream or white pair of overalls for the spring because i know i would wear those all the time so if you guys have seen any online let me know in the comments because i haven't like actually sat down to look for a pair yet but i do really want to pick some up again i love a good pre-made outfit with minimal effort and you can throw these over top of any of the basic tops and a pair of sneakers and you're set i feel like overalls aren't for everyone but i personally love them moving in to jackets the first one that is a staple for spring for me is a trench coat i have one from garage honestly guys this trench coat is so good and i've tried a few different brands online and this is the best one i'm just obsessed with the material of it it's a traditional trench coat material the length literally everything about this is perfection i just love that it's super lightweight but because it's long it does add that element of warmth if you guys have not picked up a trench coat please check out the garage one and you'll be thanking, thanking taylor, taylor later my last staple jacket is this tna coaches puffer i got this just over a year ago actually when this was first dropped last spring they only had a few different colors i believe two or three and one of them was this coppery brown color they have a ton of options now though so if you're not a fan of this color definitely check out the link i will say i wear this jacket way more than my trench coat it's actually a raincoat it kind of makes me mad that there's no hood on it because it is a raincoat, but it is what it is. So with that being said, it's water repellent. It's actually very warm. It's lined on the inside and it buttons up. Not only do I wear this in the spring, but I also wear it a lot in the fall too. It's a super versatile jacket. Honestly, one of the best jackets that I have bought for myself because I've definitely got my cost per wear and as you all know it rains a lot in the spring so i do end up wearing this a lot finishing off with my shoe staples for spring 2022 i have two pairs of sneakers and then one pair of sandals so starting off we got the birkenstock soft folded taupe clogs i believe is what they're called i picked these up in at the end of october so i didn't get to wear them a lot because it obviously got cold pretty quick but i've been wearing these non-stop over the last week and i know i'm going to be wearing them so much throughout the spring and summer these are perfect as we're transitioning into summer because spring is still not warm in canada so it's definitely necessary to have your feet covered and obviously the light taupe color is just very my vibe <laughs> and then like i said i have two pairs of sneakers i could not narrow it down to one i have been wearing both of these just as much and i know i'll continue to wear them both very equally throughout the spring so firstly i have the new balance 550 in the white and gray color i have another pair of 550s 
the green pair. Recently, I've been reaching for this gray pair just because they are an overall lighter color. So I have a lighter pair of shoes. And then opposite to that, I have my Converse Chuck 70s. I picked these up recently and I wear them so much. They're also my gym shoes. I'm just so obsessed with the cream base on them. They're just so much more unique than the Chuck Taylor. I feel like not a lot of people I see in everyday life wear these. Like I said, it's not super warm in spring, so it's nice to transition into the warmer weather with a higher shoe but even through the summer i will be wearing these all the time i think high tops look so good with skirts and shorts and that is everything that i have to show you guys it was kind of all over the place but i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys are in need of some basic staples to add to your wardrobe for the new season hopefully you found some pieces from this video so i will have everything that i can linked down below if you guys want to check any of them out make sure to subscribe so you guys can see how i style these in future videos but i love you guys and i will see you in a few days with a new video Bye.